themselves as the leader in the Big Ten. In the world of college football, it doesn't get any better. A national television audience and stadium crowd of 106,000 waited to see if Paterno and his injured Nittany Lions would measure up on this day. It didn't take long before Collins went to Carter, answering the injury question. Back to pass, a little tough to Carter. He's at the 30, the 25, to the outside to the 20. The offense would move the ball well enough to take the early lead. What people saw was an offensive line that cleared the way. A precise quarterback. There's a gift to Archie. Archie slips through. Oh, he's got the ball. Throws over the middle. It's complete to Freddie Scott at the 33 yard line. A balanced offensive machine. Straight back to pass. Goes Collins. He throws a swing to Archie. He's at the 20, the 15, the 10. That's inside at the 5 and it's down at the 2. With Kerry Collins operating like a surgeon, the Lions went on top quickly. There's a pass. Into the end zone, over a touchdown! The quick strike of the offense had Michigan rocky. The Penn State defense also put the heat off. Shutting down the Wolverines and providing more offensive opportunities. Still the fumble, and Penn State has recovered! The Turnal thought the time was right to unleash his All-American tight end, Kyle Brady, who rambled. And then it was back to Carter. When they pitch to the short side with a lot of people there, Carter turns the corner to the 20, the 15, the 10, he's down to the 7-yard line! The mix provided enough offense to build a comfortable 16 to nothing lead with just seconds left in the half. Then the tables turned, as a penalty got the Wolverines in field goal range. The first half ended. And Tyrone Wheatley suddenly got them back in the game when the second half began. There's a deep handoff to Tyrone Wheatley. He's into the secondary. He can be gone. He's in the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Tyrone Wheatley, and that's what can happen. Before the Nittany Lions could recover, it was Wheatley again. There's a pitch to Ty Wheatley, bouncing to the outside. And Penn State's knocked on their feet, off their feet, and Wheatley's going to go into the end. It was time to regroup. Bobby Ingram reversed that momentum. Terry Collins on the reverse give to Bobby Ingram. Getting ground. He's at the 30. He's at the 35. He's at the 40. That's to the outside. The 50. The 45. And down to the Michigan 40 yard line. Ben Carter picked his way downfield. And the coaches wanted Brady again. Mixing it up, Collins went to his fullback on a fade. Well, and here's a fake, and there's an arch to John Whitman, the fullback. But Michigan came right back, driving deep into Penn State territory. Now into the fourth quarter, the game would be tied. The Akabituko is in for the touchdown. They conferred on the sidelines. It was getting late. They strapped it on for a must drive. And Collins looked for Ingram. It's Whitman and Carter back to pass. Collins is down and out to uh, the Ingram, and they gave him the catch. What put in? A sensational catch. With both sidelines maneuvering, Carter drew Penn State within striking distance. Whitman, and Carter, Carter gets the handle, he's at the 40, he's at the 35, he's at the 30, he's at the 25, he's at the 15 yard line! Once the play was called, I looked at Kerry, Kerry kind of looked at me and nodded his head, and it was a, and it was a tough game, and the game was on the line. I had confidence in Kerry, at the same time, he had confidence in me. He made a throw, you know, it wasn't a perfect throw, but it was a very catchable ball. And there was no way that I was going to drop that pass. 
I, I didn't have time to think, I just reacted. Now the defense would have to do the job. Gelsheiser took his place on this final drive. Michigan would move into Penn State territory, forcing third and inches. Emotions high. The stakes clear. Penn State blitzed. Michigan lost ground. Setting up the defensive heroics that sealed the victory. They're going to pass. Here comes Willie Smith. He can't get to him. Now he throws the ball. Intercepted by Penn State. Everybody knew the Florida lost to this afternoon. Did you know the score of the game, and do you think you're number one at this point? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care what happens at this point. Lynn, you know how I feel about bowls. Uh, I just want this team to keep focused, and we, you know, we got to play Ohio State coming up next, and that's going to be a tough game for us, and we just got to try to, to play well each week, and if you do that, everything seems to take care of itself.